This is all private, right? All private. Look at these hoarders living over here. Do you see that? Get what them out of there. Throw some stuff out, guys, come on. They thought no one would judge them because their apartment's on the roof, but so is ours. Welcome to Midtown. Very convenient area. You got the trains, not just there, but everywhere. Appreciate that. Have a great yeah. day. And everyone's so friendly. Times Square is like right down that direction. And the rest of this is offices, restaurants, and even more restaurants. Plus you can read about what plays are in by reading the side of your garbage can. I don't know if people specifically come to this part of town to eat, but if you do, you could try Junior's. It's not bad. The sign is almost as big as the portion sizes. But look, it's actually affordable. See? Then we have your roach coaches, and there's a cake shop directly across the street. Oh, that Oreo looks like money. The name of it is the Harrison. That might be a little too fancy. This is also the theater district. This is why you're coming here. Look, the Book of Mormon across the street. And then we got a Catholic church on this side of the street. I don't think this one's a play though. There's also a Scientology building around here somewhere. If I see it, we'll be sure to laugh at it together. I mean, respect it together. And look, this gym is even a religion. I guess people worship their bodies in there. It's probably expensive. How are you? Happy New Year. This here is 9th Avenue. We're very close to the apartment, the first apartment. And this is the Hell's Kitchen neighborhood. To me, it's still part of Midtown, but hey, you can have some real fun out here. At the Urgent Care, because you're gonna eat a lot. Look, there's more ramen. This place looks new, actually. Planet Taco. But you have to try Mom's Kitchen, not just because they might be fans of Adventure Time. Look at this menu, pancake burrito, cinnamon roll pancakes, the Bedrock pancakes, though that one's the best. The Seven Brothers Deli, they have a great bacon, egg, and cheese. I forgot, we're over by the Amish market. Their hot chocolate and coffee, no joke. That's a crab place, that's a Spanish place. This is another taco place, which also has a mean brunch. Then we got a Peruvian restaurant, cheese boat. What the heck is a cheese boat? Hibernia. What is a Hibernia? I have no idea. I might not be cultured enough to live here. Who do you think lives here? They're gonna be your neighbor because this place is down the street from where we're headed, right over there. They can give you some gardening tips and they can teach you how to keep your front patio clean, but I don't think we're gonna have a front patio. We're also right across the street from Stella Tower, this old Art Deco office. And a couple of months ago, I toured something way up in that little building. One of those little guys with a balcony. And that's so interesting because the building we're going to today is right here. And after we see this, we're gonna look at a couple more places right there in that building. What's up, man? How are we doing? Alex has the keys to everything today. All right. Yo, you didn't tell me this was here. I didn't even know. This is awesome. Yeah, it's really nice. What's the rent? 4,500. Two beds, two baths. That's a neighboring apartment, but the rest of this is private. Yeah, this part is yours exclusively. Now I think this basement right here, I think that door leads into the apartment and that might be one of the windows. It's a two floor place, right? Yeah. But this is actually pretty well cared for and it's insanely quiet. And that's surprising because of how close we are to Times Square. If your neighbors have a grill, maybe you could borrow it. You know they have people over, look at all that stuff. Ours just comes with this lonely table where you could sit and write your memoirs. And you could probably hang a birdhouse or something and grow some legal greenery. Wait, you said this is a two bedroom. Two bed. Dude, this is bedroom number three. This room is 17 by eight. Might actually be the fourth bedroom. Right here, a little closet. Wait, this one's bigger. Oh man, yeah, look at that. 
Dude, that's a twin size mattress. Easily. Now this funny looking box, this is your heater and look, there's a little step right there, which means you could probably get a dresser over there and I guess your bed anywhere else if this is a room for sleeping. But what about that door? Let me show you. Nice, man, look at that. Four, uh, three of each. Card activated. And whenever you see paintings like this, these were left by prior renters, are these Vincent Van Goghs. What do we got in here? Uh, some garbage and it doesn't smell. A lot of buildings, you see this part of it and you're like, oh, that's how they take care of it. But I mean, there's clearly a broom, clearly a fire extinguisher. Look at how dusty it is. That means there's never been a fire. All right, I like this bathroom, but... Oh, okay. I'm not as short as I thought I was. <laughs> That's still the wrong place for that. It should be further down if it can be. Look at this old school medicine cabinet. Ugh. Let's try the other side. Oh yeah, okay. How's the water pressure? Solid. Storage down here, look at that. Nice and clean, even though it's not a brand new place. 20 feet by 11 feet. Look at that, there's also a skylight in the living room. It's kind of weird, it's got like a grate or something on it. Cloudy day, but definitely that'll brighten it up in here. It's not a dark place either. Look at this crazy light. Whoever put this in, man, they really had some ideas about what was cool at the time they bought it. And you can throw some stools underneath this. Eat your breakfast at this thing in the morning. Guess the fridge opens the right way. This way you can get a snack without having to get fully inside the kitchen. Full size dishwasher, that's unexpected. Oven looks good, microwave. Counter space is pretty good. The sink is deep, we got the sprayer. And I like how these cabinets are see-through and double-sided. Guests can come out here and grab something. They don't have to like be in it. And okay, maybe it's not the biggest kitchen in town, but you gotta remember, this is a kitchen in a three bedroom for 4,500. Now, in addition to the downstairs bedroom, we've got one at that end of the hall. And we got this monster right here that leads to the deck. Your windows are looking directly out at it as well. And this is really big, 11 and a half by 12 and a half. Big heater. We've even got ourselves some privacy blinds. That's nice. AC can go here. And we've even got this walk-in closet. We have another full-size bath upstairs. Same sink, same medicine cabinet. This one actually looks a little bit bigger, um, but I'm not able to slide it. No bedroom in here sucks. No. This is 13 and a half by eight. There's only one potential issue. I don't mind this, but I think that like not everybody's gonna want it. I mean, just point down the sidewalk real quick. Is that one right there? No, it's that one and we don't have a key. Maybe someone will have mercy on us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. There's supposed to be this one and this one. You can see the cylinders are out. Four bed, two bath, $74.95. Well, it's not a luxury building, but you've got a bigger deck here than most physical luxury apartments. You can get a hammock, some furniture. I don't know, I might like this more than the garden in that other place. Just because the view here is so insane. Look at that, everything that we saw from the fire escape, but better. Let's see, what do we got up here? We got some pipes, some weird vents. I wonder what comes out of this. Hopefully nothing, but you never know. Look, you can see a helicopter. And the crazy thing is none of the neighboring roofs have really anything going on, so it's just us and this guy hanging out. He's actually working in the other apartment on this floor that we're gonna see after. Now these here skylights, these lead back into our little tiny house. And look at this, we got this really awesome walkway. Look at how far down that is. This is like the only apartment where you'd be scared to fall. What do you think about the staircase? Uh, I think it's great, very steep, just be careful. Do you think you could bring food up here? I mean, it is right uh, next to the kitchen. Yeah, you can. Everything opens. We've even got a little microwave up in here. Cabinets are decent. Counter space, you know what? It's a little lacking. What's that, pantry built in? Yep. Oh, nice. You know what? It's an acceptable kitchen for sure. There's also a massive free Ikea cabinet bolted to the wall. Does it make contact with the door? I mean, barely, barely. 
I would leave that there. And I would leave this AC look at that, man. That could cool the entire Russian Navy at once. And we've even got a little closet under the stairs. You could rent this one out to your crazy uncle. You know there's some crazy uncles that would be like, yeah, I'd totally live under the stairs. What do you think the rent is for that? 700. 700? Respectfully. Now the living room, this is 21 feet by 14 feet, seven inches. Now there are a lot of doors here. That's for all the rooms, but you could still get yourself a good setup. <laughs> Don't knock over the super height. They have to paint the apartment. I'd probably get a couch here and a table against that wall. That sounds good. You could also have a couch here. Mount a TV over here if the super allows it. But what's crazy is with four bedrooms here, the rent's less than $2,000 per person. And you've got like an actual hangout space. Yours is a full too? Yeah, and they're gonna clean this. Don't worry. Dude, and there's laundry. Kind of dirty, but hey, people just moved out. Pressure's okay. Are these medicine cabinets? Definitely. But to me, the real win is these laundry machines, they clear the throne. It's like smart people put it in knowing that everything was gonna be okay. Nice thing is that both baths are identical. Tub here's the same again. It's not ready yet. That's why there's some footprints down in there. But this is great. Look, mirrors everywhere. It'll be easy to get ready. And you won't have morning traffic jams because it's two rooms per bedroom, bathroom. So do you think this is an official balcony? It looks like the fire escape. I don't know, whatever you want to call it, it's what it is. What an insane view. No elevator in this building, but definitely it's a penthouse. I mean, we're on the top floor. You can see all the way down 50th. Plus you get some of the Midtown West skyline. Do you think furniture is possible? You could have a chair over there. You might get busted though, because this is like visible from the street. You might, but you won't know until you try it. Cool thing is these doors, this one's locked, but that actually goes back into our apartment. So yes, it's a fire escape. Yes, it might look like a balcony. We're the only ones that have access to it. Doesn't really seem that safe um, if you get too close to this. And the fact that this is kind of open makes me feel like it's emergency use only. 11 feet by seven feet, eight inches. Decent closet. You've got some unreachable overhead up there. This one has access to the outside, but you could probably line up your bed like right here in the middle. This one's pretty good though. We got two windows, no balcony access, but you got the full view from the closet to the wall. This one's about 80 square feet. So the free AC, that's two free ACs in both rooms so far. This room here also about 80 square feet. It's got the door as well, but as you can see, they got the free AC up there for us. And it's nice to see that so far, everything looks like it's about the same. I think this is the best one. One window here facing um, someone's luxury apartment. But then we have this sunny little nook. Again, on the top floor, everything gets light. Doesn't matter if it's a street view. And this particular room is 12 by 10. You wanna see the one next door? Yes. Cool. We'll get out of your way. Thank you. We'll go next door. Okay, so this is similar. This is what, three beds? Three beds. So one less bedroom. This one's going for 57.50. The rooms are significantly larger than the last one. Oh man. Yeah. yeah, this is like double the space. This is 16 by eight. That's fantastic. Oh boy, same type of balcony. But we're facing south, so it's a lot brighter. Look at this, you can see everybody's garden down there. That's kind of cool. Definitely peaceful, but this definitely looks and feels way more like a fire escape. Okay, cool, that's where the laundry is. I didn't see it in either of those bathrooms, but it's here under the stairs. Physically, it's a smaller apartment, but this is almost identical to what we have next door. Pretty much the mirror layout here in the kitchen as well. Which deck's better? I'd say this one for sure, just because all the furniture it comes with. And it's bigger, I think, as well. Look, it wraps all the way around to there. I think the view is way better as well, because again, we're facing south, so that's like the Times Square area. So is that over there. You can fit three times as many furniture pieces. This free furniture kind of sucks, though. Maybe these are on its last renter. <laughs> Glass table's probably still good, though. It's got a couple, you know, a couple outdoor meals left in it. You might also be able to get some free satellite TV from your neighbors. Does this mean there's 500 channels? Oh, and there's a hornet. Look at him, look at him. He's just waiting to sting people. Oh no, get away from me, stop. Now the upstairs landing area, it's not really any smaller or bigger. I don't really know what you could do with this. Probably nothing. It's more of like just a hallway or like a 
viewing spot to see what's going on in the rest of the living room. But man, what a place. If you want to rent anything that we saw today, make sure you talk to Alex. Dude, this was great. Of course. Then pick another video. I'll see you in the next one.